Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and I thought it fit into Discuss by Dow today. Um, obviously we can see that it has uh, gone down in my previous video I said it may not actually get to my target of 0 0.018 cents uh, but as you can see now it has actually hit that and even even below that so um, yeah it's definitely uh, not looking good for buy that at the moment in terms of price action um, for those that are long term holding this at the end of the day you shouldn't be too worried about something like this because if you've got long term expectancy for the price to increase then this is a uh, you know just a uh, minor setback with the price going back down um, but it does look like it could potentially even head down back down further towards ICO price as you can see um, my support level was over here it was bouncing along bouncing along bouncing along and I've always said the more times it touches the level the more likely it's gonna break and we saw it touch again over here and uh, we've also seen now that it's broken down through that and it's also had a little bounce to retest the old support line which becomes resistance um, and it's been rejected off there as well at the moment now it could come back and t try and retest it again and come through well only time will tell whether that's going to happen or whether it's going to go further to the downside okay no doubt there'll be a lot of buy down fans out there that will be buying this dip but for me the next support level is I'd say all the way down here I mean it's very thin support if we look over here we've got very thin support levels over here we've got that level which is bounced off at the moment okay and it should bounce around within this range if it doesn't go straight down uh, but it could come straight down or, or it could come up like I said and it could break through that level over there now a lot of people are still talking about the token burn you know whether the token burn is going to double the price and whatnot okay now uh if the price goes back down to ico price at one cent and they burn half the tokens and that was to for example double the price that would only bring you back to two cents which is the level that is at roughly around about now so what i was trying to explain to people before is you can't base your investment strategy just solely on a token burn all right guys now if the tokens can consistently going up in price and then you get a burn that could potentially drive the price up if the tokens consistently going down and then we get a burn you're basically just trying to break even or something like that if you got in down here at two cents and it goes down to one cent and you get a token burn and it goes up a hundred percent because they burn half the supply that would bring you back to break even wouldn't it so you can't base your investment strategy just on one thing all right guys also when we're talking about exchanges more exchange listings and stuff like that we really do need bigger exchanges okay because at the end of the day poloniex is quite is the biggest one that they've listed on uh, aside from uniswap at the moment uh, when we heard about poloniex we saw this 30 percent pump over here uh, if that is the right one roughly about 30 percent okay over there and then it came swiftly back down to earth and now it's rolled over okay now i always thought they would be listed on poloniex at some point because of the partnership with justin sun uh, the founder of tron who actually um, acquired poloniex some time ago as well uh, i believe i've spoken about that in a previous video uh, a long time ago so that wasn't a surprise to me what would be a surprise is binance or uh, coinbase or something like that even qcoin would do at, at this moment in time um, obviously a lot of people did invest on FOMO in based on the the, uh, uh, the Binance um, URL uh, with the spinning uh, um, you know loading sign in the middle of the Binance chart but uh, of course that wasn't confirmed I did kind of warn people that you know don't don't invest just based on that you know because it's not confirmed until it's confirmed by the exchange or by by Dell it's not real all right guys so um, yeah could have been a little bit of a uh, baiting going on there somehow you know um, I'm not accusing anyone of anything I'm just saying like we don't see a Binance listing at the moment at least I don't even know if the URL still exists or whether it's disappeared because no one's been talking about it since then all right um, yeah so uh, moving on to uh, the fact that Baidao did put an update video out uh, the other day all right um, not much of an update to be honest uh, but it's an update nevertheless talking about the ethereum token bridge uh, that they are building all right um i can't say that they're not keeping you updated at the end of the day because this is an update but 
you know, um, I think people are expecting a little bit more than that in terms of update. Um, not really much for them to get so excited about. But um, the truth about crypto is that everyone's, you know, expecting excitement all the time. You know, uh, because we've seen some crazy pumps in some coins, you know, uh, we've seen some <laughs> extreme FOMO and hopium in, you know, coins like Moonday Finance and stuff like that. People are making a lot of money. All right. But the truth about crypto is it can be very boring at times. All right. You can be making investments in projects that are not moving for a long time because the whole idea is, uh, you know, long term investing. OK, it's not really about getting rich quick or all of the time. Now, of course, you know, some people do get rich quick. I don't think they all get rich quick on purpose, you know. Um, some people get rich quick by accident, you know what I mean? And you can invest in a project that you're expecting to be a long-term hold and it just takes off to the moon. Within a couple of weeks or a couple of months, you're rich, you know. Um, just always be aware that, you know, um, you know, if you invest in, uh, you can be waiting a long time sometimes and you can be waiting a short time sometimes especially in crypto all right but just make sure you know what you're investing in make sure you do your own research and make sure you understand and remember why you invested in a project okay i'm the type of person that can't help but take profits all right um because you know i've, I've seen too many downtrends uh, in my time and I've, I've sat through them as well you know i'm coming from a place of experience so when i try and encourage people to take profit uh, you can always find another entry somewhere else, you know, whether it be lower or even if you have to get in a little bit higher. It's very psychological if you think, you know, or, you know, I had a million tokens and now I can only buy 800,000 tokens, for example. That's a psychological thing because your loyalty should be to your profits at the end of the day, uh, not the project. All right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I hope, hope, hope that means something to somebody somewhere. All right, guys, so yeah, uh, Bidal could potentially come down further at the end of the day. A lot of people don't like it when I say certain things like this, you know, but, you know, I was warning people from way over here that Bidal could come down to, to you know, below 2 cents to 0 0.018 cents. That's been my target for a little while. Uh, now I need to find a new target, whether it's lower than that or whether, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an investment opportunity and whether it's higher than that. Okay, but uh, no matter which way you look at it, it's still definitely a better time to buy than it was over here. All right, guys, and that's just the truth of the matter. Take it or leave it. That's all I've got for you for now. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Like and comment down below. Let me know what you think. No doubt some of you will. Let me know if you're unhappy about what I said. Uh, some of you will uh, get behind me and say, you know, great advice. But uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes, isn't it? Alright guys, you can also follow me on Twitter, that's at Crypto Lightsaber, C-R-Y-P-T-O-L-Y-T-S-A-B-E-R. Also, we have the Patreon group, we've got a few members are coming in, thank you all uh, very much guys for supporting the channel. Alright, um, people are having fun in my group, um, <laughs> there's a lot going on in there, there's some nice investments coming through, people are making some nice money. Um, there are some losses, you know, losses happen too in this game, uh, I think we just need to understand that um, losses will come, but it's all about managing your risk. It's about managing those losses, cutting those uh, cutting those losers quickly. All right, guys, and making more in profits than you are in losses. Okay, uh, that's the key to this. All right, guys. So yeah, I think that's about it for now. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.